Okay, today we've got about 21 kilometers. We're going up and down a lot of hills and this is meant to be one of the more challenging sections. We're heading to Beavis and apparently the vegetation is going to change a lot as well. So it should be a pretty cool and challenging day. So cold still. My body is freezing and my back is stiff. I feel like I haven't yet warmed up to walking and because it's so cold, I feel like, like a piece of wood. <laughs> getting hot. Those black cockatoos are at it again. spent the last hour just going through this big green tunnel that started off as a big fire trail and now it's gradually getting smaller and smaller and we're starting to go down a hill so I suspect we're going to start going up a hill again soon. Okay, so the up and down hills have started now and about maybe half an hour ago it just started sprinkling and it's like big white cloud cover now and it's super humid so it's already starting to get a bit hard. Yeah, our pace was good. Time to put the raincoats on. I couldn't be bothered putting mine on. It's going to get hot and sweaty. We're about to go up this hill. Now 
I'm drenched, but if the sun comes out, this will dry super fast. If it doesn't come out, who cares? Honestly, I feel like sitting on a couch curled up, having a hot chocolate and watching TV. And I'm like, why am I doing this? <laughs> Honestly. Okay, this is definitely the point of no return. Yep. Going down my pants. Fun. I can make it fun. made it up that big steep hill. Pretty sure. Summit soon. It's just that last 500 meters, you know, that feeling, and you just push on and push on without a break. And then you just got that tiny bit more to go. Uh. 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 My legs are starting to not function. <laughs> All right, almost there. Almost there. Whew, finally. I'm hungry. I'm 
Beavis! Yay! You beat me! Well done. How cozy is this? We're all in this little hut together, hooking up. While it's not pounding with rain, but it's been some rain. There's been some rain today. For the kind of like afternoon lull, when energy's quite low, I've been getting, you know, the kind of packets of um, wriggly snakes, or the kind of frogs. Stuff I'd never touched back home. Yeah, and you just devour it. Yeah, and uh, also what I've been finding I've been doing here, especially on a hot day, getting when it's the last day into a town, getting to town, the first thing I've wanted is just an ice cold kind of Coca Cola. And I never have fizzy pop at home. I wouldn't yeah. touch it. I don't even get the kids. Yeah. But wow, it's been like, yes, that tastes good. <laughs> I'm just enjoying lying here doing nothing. It's so great. Wow, such a beautiful morning. It's all foggy and misty. It's a bit rainy, it's nice and cool. And now I need to use the bathroom, so. So, Lisa came into the toilet yesterday and noticed there were maggots all over it. So she cleaned it all up, but then they just come back up again because some idiot decided that the toilet smelt too bad so they wanted to put detergent in there but these kinds of toilets are natural composting toilets i.e. only human waste and toilet paper so the poor maggots are trying to escape which now means it's infested and I don't want to use that toilet so let me close it again I'm gonna have to find an alternative somewhere over here. <laughs> well, I'm gonna... <laughs> I borrowed Doug. <laughs> so I'll just go down here somewhere. Away from everyone else. Okay, I think this will do. Excuse me while I do my thing. Okay, so we're here. We're here at Beavis. And I'm here with Adrian, who arrived at like, I don't know, four o'clock or something in the rain. And then he came with all these flags and a whole story. So I'd love to hear a bit about, yeah, what you're, what you're here um, for. Hi, hi. Um, I'm here. I'm walking the Bilbo track, uh, solo, and I'm uh, doing it for charity, essentially. Um, I'm trying to raise awareness and some funds for Yorkshire Air Ambulance, who uh, I'm from the UK, just in case you didn't know, <laughs> and uh, the Firefighters Charity. I'm an operational firefighter in the UK. Yeah. And how has the experience been for you so far? It's been wonderful. Uh, it has been absolutely amazing. Uh, I just love the diversity of the place. I'm enjoying the solitude. Uh, and uh, I think the kind of the thing that really kind of uh, brings it home when you're out in the middle of nowhere is just not knowing what day is, not knowing what the date is. It's just great. It's just great to get away from it all. And uh, yeah, I've seen some fantastic wildlife, met some amazing people who just bend over backwards for you. So yeah, it's been it's been a really positive experience. Yeah. Heading to Beedla, 22 kilometers. The rain has stopped, the sun's gonna come out and it's perfect for walking. Oh, 
Oh, I'm still really cold. All this rain has like dropped the temperature. So I need to warm up a bit. Cause my fingers are super cold and my knees are feeling a bit uh, squeaky. <laughs> I don't know where that hill suddenly came from, but that was my morning caffeine hit right there. Oh. I'm not cold anymore at least. This mini cyclone came and just like knocked all this part of the forest down. Check out this carry marry tree. It's the only example of both a carry and a marry tree as one tree growing out from the same foundation. And you can see the two different types of bark of those two trees. we can have a break. We didn't really have one today.
Look at these amazing trees. Getting bigger. city going on. <laughs> and there's the other chicks there. And I have found the swimming hole, which is right here. Down there. But I don't really want to go swimming because I've just gotten changed into all my nice warm clothes. And I've actually been a bit cold today. So if you're doing it tough on the track, you're not doing it right. <laughs> what is this mess? This is my rubbish. Well, either I'm like super hyper organized or completely disorganized. And in this case, I'm pretty disorganized. I'm just trying to find my one. Oh yeah, I was looking for my entree, which is my miso soup. And now the rest is gonna be rubbish. Oh, yes, and I have a dessert. The mouse didn't get this one. Thank you for Can you have to take another one next? Oh, yeah. This is really good. Some of the campsites actually provide pre chopped wood for us to use so that we don't start scavenging too much of the wood that's out in the bush. So I'll take some of these for our campfire. It's a little bit wet though, so we may need those fire starters that they've offered us to make it a bit easier. You know me, I'm not that great at starting fires, but it's fun. Oh, that was easy. Some good shut eye. Oh no, because you just kind of chill, don't you? Yeah, yeah. And uh, in the morning, seven o'clock on the dot, I don't get up before then. Ah, <laughs> oh, right, that's yeah. good. That's I'll stick really my nice. head out. Still I'm here with Lisa again, and then we've also met up with a group of seven awesome women who have been doing sectional parts of the Bilberman track for many years, and they were really fun. And yeah, we just had a lot of nice chats and played cards and sat by the bonfire together which was really great. Tomorrow we are going to arrive in Pemberton which will be really nice because I'm ready to have a big fat meal at a pub and have a nice cold beer to finish this section of the trail and yeah I'm feeling good, I'm feeling strong, I'm feeling really confident that we're now on the second half of this trek and yeah looking forward to tomorrow. Okay. Good night. Morning. We're just leaving Beetle Up campsite now. Sorry, I'm puffed out because I've just climbed a big hill. And we've got 25 kilometers to get to Pemberton, which is our next rest stop. 
It's a beautiful sunny day today. I don't think it's going to rain. I've got a few k's to get through today, so we'll just try and smash it out. Uh, maybe we'll have lunch at the Arboretum at about 15 kilometer mark. Let's go, let's get warmed up. dung everywhere. No, I don't want to do anything. I'm just gonna walk.
cold. Walk faster. I haven't walked on like asphalt in so long. It feels too easy. What are you doing? I rescued a bee out of the lake. <laughs> Is it alive? Oh, yeah, it's alive. It's down there. Okay. That's nice. He was doing his best to swim to shore, but he couldn't get there. That's good. Uh, here's your pole bag. How's your camera? It's under the umbrella. It's having fun there? This is our cameraman, Steve, the bee saver. Ah! Why am I here? I don't know. Because it's fun. <laughs> what? I guess so. Nothing else to do. How good was that rain? And now look, the sun's out. Perfect. It's like some kind of pool or something. Okay, we're arriving in Pemberton. Back to civilization. I'm about to turn my phone back on service. And it's making me a little bit anxious because I haven't been on my phone for like, I don't know, seven, eight days now. What a town. simple pleasures of life.